Joe Rogan seems to have set up a chain reaction. Ever since he mentioned time travel and the return of Iron Man, publishers gave dedicated videos, trailers, and entire articles to this little rumor. So don't swipe or click away, because here is Iron Man 4 First Look. Ellen was the first one to ask RDJ about the possibility of a new movie. RDJ tried deflecting the question at first, but when he saw how persistent Ellen was, he just cracked down and said, okay, yes. After that Ellen interview, no one paid too much attention to RDJ and the possibility of a new Iron Man 4. After all, this was before Endgame, so we weren't too worried about RDJ making a fourth movie. Hit, then it happened. Tony Stark died in the battle with Thanos. Everyone mourned his loss, and we realized that we won't be able to see him in superhero movies anymore. Not wanting to give Iron Man up, fans started making concept trailers for Iron Man 4 and based on the views, we'd say that Iron Man 4 is gonna be a big fat cash cow for Marvel if they ever decide to make one. Why? Because 15 million people just can't be wrong about a movie. There was another one with 10 million views. Countless other mini trailers popped online and we felt the tension for a new movie building. But let's leave the concept trailers aside for a moment. We talked about the Joe Rogan and RDJ interview that acted as the catalyst for this entire stream of events. So what happened there? As you may already know, Robert couldn't take it anymore. He was doing Iron Man since 2008. That's 11 years of being stuck with one character. Sitcoms don't last that long. So we don't blame him for getting tired of the character, even though it's Tony Stark. He wanted to branch out as an actor, and he felt like Marvel wasn't allowing him to do. Joe even talked about him smashing that like button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, he talked about Downey returning to Marvel in the future using a time machine. That's all you got? Cheap trick in a cheesy one-liner? Sweetheart. When we heard that, we were absolutely stunned. Not because it was a great idea, but because of what Robert said to that. The actor honestly thinks that we would hate him and feel a little annoyed that he's back at it again. Sir, you've underestimated our love for you. We would slap you with a glove if we had one. Anyways, back to the interview. All of this being said, we'll say that Tony Stark had the best send-off of any superhero ever. No matter who it is, no movie has ever paid proper homage to the actor to the lead they just killed off. But Tony was different. If nothing else ever changes and everything remains just as it is, his memory will echo throughout the MCU as the greatest Avenger that gave his life for humanity. But things will change. First of all, we think that they'll change in a completely different way from what Rogan predicted. RDJ won't have to come back like his older self from an alternate universe to offer his wisdom to the new Avengers for defeating some major league bad guy. They wouldn't even have to go back in time in the same universe and then bring young Tony Stark into the future. The possibilities are endless now that they have time travel, but we think that the show will go a different route. One that's a little more feminine. The first prediction we have is this. We think that Morgan Stark will take on the mantle from her father and she'll try to fill in her dad's shoes. Here's why. First of all, the idea is already proven. The most popular concept trailer among them was the one that included Catherine Langford as Morgan Stark. If you haven't heard already, we're here to tell you that Morgan Stark was actually cast in Avengers Endgame. She had a beautiful scene with RDJ right after he passed away and is taken to the Red Planet by the Soul Stone to talk to the one person Tony loves the most, his daughter. Catherine Langford talked about this clip on The Tonight Show and she revealed that she was a huge fan of the franchise. For the brief time she spent on the set, Catherine said that she got along with everyone there and absolutely loved working with Robert. However, she was forbidden from talking about it before the movie aired. Because, you know, legally binding contracts aren't something to take lightly. The clip was shown during a promo for the movie and only then did she feel comfortable speaking about it. This tells us two things about Catherine Langford. Number one, she's a professional. Number two, she'll do a damn good job playing Morgan Stark. With 13 Reasons Why, she more than proved she's a great actress. But then, after watching the clip and seeing how close she and Robert appeared on the screen, we can bet she'll do a good job. I'm sorry. It's, uh... For starters, it'll give the Avengers movie a more feminine tone. If she doesn't take the role lightly and prepares accordingly, Langford is more than capable to play the part. 
We know that Pepper Potts has been taught by Tony Stark how to fight, so if this movie turns out to be Megan Stark's growing up, we would love to see mother and daughter training together. And in a way, this would be like Tony Stark training his own daughter. God, that sounds perfect. The only thing that could mess this up is Riri Williams, the girl genius. The only thing that could prevent Catherine Langford from taking on the role of Iron Man is Riri Williams, the character known as Ironheart and currently played by Dominique Thorne in the upcoming Black Panther movie. Riri Williams is a poor girl from Chicago. She lives with her mom, her sister, and her stepdad. She had a normal childhood, but later the doctors discovered that Riri was one of the smartest people in the world. Her entire world changed after that. She became introverted as a result of her intellect, and it was becoming harder and harder to socialize her. The first friend she had was Natalie. She grew really close with Natalie, but one fateful day, while they were having a picnic, Riri's stepdad and Natalie were killed in a drive-by shooting when some of the stray bullets accidentally found their bodies. After this, Riri challenged herself to build her very own Iron Man suit. How was she going to do this? Well, she took the Iron Man Armor Model 41 and she reverse engineered it to make it fit her body while keeping all of the useful functions Tony Stark developed. The only problem? She was secretly stealing metal and materials from MIT where she had a scholarship. Not wanting to be caught in the act, Riri put on the suit and flew away. Ever since that day, Riri Williams is considered Iron Man's heir. Some comic book sites even claim that she is the smartest superhero in the MCU. Here come And based on current events, we think that Marvel likes Riri Williams better. How do we know? Well, first of all, they cast Dominique Thorne to play Riri Williams in Black Panther Wakanda Forever. She'll have her character debut in the movie, and that's not all. Dominique Thorne will also star in the Disney Plus show titled Ironheart. All of this comes from Marvel Studios chief Kevin Feige. He revealed the information during an interview with ComicBook.com. From this, we can safely assume that Iron Man 4, unlike what the trailers are suggesting, will probably not be about Morgan Stark taking on her father's mantle. It'll be about Riri Williams, the girl genius who built her own Iron Man suit when she was 13. Tony built his after getting locked up in a cave. So far, she has a head start on Tony. On a related note, do you think Dominique Thorne or Catherine Langford will do a better job starring in Iron Man 4? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of our videos in the future. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.